Jay Price was a black journalist who left his mark on newspaper and radio. He died at the age of 73 on Saturday, but instead of mourning, his family and friends say they're celebrating his life and appreciating the legacy he leaves behind. It was a lot to get us <laughs> to pose in this picture, right? What, two, four, six, seven people? <laughs> That's what I remember. I remember nobody wanted to be still. People were complaining, but then we got a really nice shot. A family portrait that Giannis Jackson says is worth a thousand words. That's because in the upper right hand corner is her father, Jay Price. And while he's physically gone, Jackson says knowing how many lives her dad positively impacted helps her get through the grief. I know people love my dad, but I see that they really love my dad. And that, that means a lot. That's special. Family and friends remember Price as a trailblazer in the journalism field who paved the way for many black journalists. Price worked as a journalist for more than 50 years, starting in radio in the 1970s. Price's radio career took him to several markets, including right here in Lansing, where he was a DJ. Jackson remembers as a kid listening to her dad on the radio. Ice Ice Baby was really hot, the Vanilla Ice. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. So they would play that, but again, they would play the instrumental. After years on the radio, Price decided it was time for a career change. With the resources we had, with the resources my father had, he was able to make things work, you know, take his career in media and transition over to, to a newspaper print side. In 1986, Price decided to start the Chronicle News, a newspaper that tells stories about black people from the perspective of black people. Jackson says Price decided to start the newspaper during the war on drugs, a time when black people were portrayed negatively. That was a story and that was a narrative that we had no control over. This is, is something that was started so we could control the narrative and tell people, well, this is who we are, really. The Chronicle News has been operating for over 35 years now, but Price didn't launch it alone. His wife, Carolyn Carter, helped him start the paper, and she worked as a layout designer until she passed away in 2018. They loved each other. They worked together. They showed me you don't have to be perfect to love each other and, you know, to, to, to stay together. So what's next for the Chronicle News? Well, Jackson is following her father's footsteps and has decided to become the new publisher. So this is, this is how I put it. I don't try to fill my dad's shoes, but what I do is I pick those shoes up, I take them with me, and then I jump into my own. <laughs> right? I'm your Lansing neighborhood reporter, Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.